Today, we will review sixth grade math lesson 6.1. This math lesson will cover using ratio reasoning with circle graphs. Here is your I can statement. I can use reasoning about equivalent ratios to make and interpret a circle graph and explain my solution methods to others. I encourage you to pause this video at any time and complete these problems on your own first and then review my video. If you want to um, look for similar problems in your student practice book, they will be on um, your homework page 183 for similar problems. So let's go ahead and read this. A circle graph uses sections of a circle to show the ratio of parts to whole. So we are going to really concentrate on the ratio of parts to whole. The size of an angle shows the ratio. You can use equivalent ratios, that's something that's in our I can statement, to find the number that the sections of the circle graph represents. The circle graph shows data from Stan's collection of sports cards. He has 120 cards for all four teams. So this is his total or his whole. So we're going to need this amount to write a proportion in step three. But you want to go ahead and circle that and underline when you're solving problems like this that you all always want to identify that whole amount. Follow these steps to find the number of cards from the Tigers. So that's the team we're going to be concentrating on first. So right here we have step one. Step two and step three to solve these type of problems. Step one is if you can use a protractor to measure the angles of the section. You can print um, protractors online as well. But this circle graph and the example below gives us each of those measurements that are included, so we won't need to do this on these examples. Step two, write a part-whole ratio for the tiger section, because that was what they were asking us in the problem, is we want to find out for the tigers how many cards. The angle of a full circle is 360 degrees. So if you notice here, we're starting at a part-whole ratio where the 36 degrees here is going here to the tiger section is 36. And then the 360 below that is saying that's the whole amount of an angle of a circle is 360 degrees. So when we're setting up our proportions, this is a part-whole ratio because it's part of the circle and then the whole circle. And we're setting that up as a proportion. So we're saying 36 degrees over 360 degrees equals, well, we're trying to find how many cards, that's our unknown, over 120 cards. We get the 120 cards in this part, this whole amount, remember, comes from the problem here when I said we need to underline and identify the whole amount. That's given in the problem. So when we're doing this and setting up equivalent ratios, again, we're using that strategy, we need to say, right here is 360 divided by what is 120. 
So 360 divided by what number? It would be dividing it by 3. So if I divide the denominator by 3, 360 divided by 3 is 120. Then I must divide the numerator by 3. 36 divided by 3 would be 12. Right here. That's where they're getting the answer. Because they did equivalent ratios and they divided both the numerator and denominator by 3 to get an equivalent ratio. So then that is my answer. Stan has 12 cards from the Tigers. Let's go down and try example number one. Find the number of Stan's car for the other three teams. Okay, so now we need to look at the other three teams. The other three teams are listed here. We have the Rangers right here. We have the Warriors, which is this one here. And we have the Pirates. Okay, so we need to look at each one and find the part-whole relationship and use an equivalent ratio to solve them. So the Rangers is going to be 54 degrees over 36. That's the part-whole because I look here onto my circle and it says 54 degrees. That's where I'm getting that information. And then I know that this is going to be out of 120 cards because I go back up to my problem and that was given to me here. So 360 divided by what is 120? We already determined that I'm dividing by 3. So what I do to the denominator, I must do to the numerator. So 54 divided by 3 would be 18. So I know Stan has... He has 18 cards from the Rangers. Okay, let's do the next one. We have the Warriors. So I go up here onto my circle graph and I'm looking at the Warriors and it says it's 198 degrees. So I write a part whole ratio of 198 degrees over 360. And I know that I have 120 cards, so 360 divided by what is 120? 3. So what I do to the denominator, I must do to the numerator because I'm doing equivalent ratios. So 198 divided by 3 would be 66. So I know Stan has 66 cards from the Warriors team. All right, let's go on to the last one. The last one is Pirates. So go over here, look at your graph. Pirates is 72 degrees of the circle out of 360. That's my part whole relationship. And I want to set that equivalent to, and I know I have 120 cards. So this is equivalent ratios. 36 divided by 3 is 120. What I do to the denominator, I must do to the numerator. So then 72 divided by 3 is 24. So I know Stan has 24 cards from the Pirates. All right, let's go on to the next problem. The science teacher brought a goldfish to her room at school. A total of 36 students voted. Again, that's your whole amount because we need to do a part-whole relationship that's important to identify. The results of the votes are shown in the circle graph. Find the total number of votes for each name. So here we go. Let's look at our first one. We have Goldie. So that's right here. Then we have Slinky, which is this portion. And then we have Finny. This is the larger part of the circle here. All 
Okay, so for Goldie, we know that that's a 60 degree angle. And we need to do a part whole relationship. So we have a part whole ratio is 60 over 30, 360, because the whole circle is 360 degrees. And then I know here my total is 36 students. So 360 divided by what is 36? I know that is going to be divided by 10. So if I divide the denominator by 10, I must divide the numerator by 10. So 60 divided by 10 is 6. So I know that would be 6 votes for the name Goldie. Okay, let's do the next name, Slinky. Slinky has a 120 degree angle in the circle graph. I set up a part-whole ratio, so that would be 120 degrees over 360 degrees, because there's 360 total degrees in a circle. This is my part-whole relationship, my part-whole ratio. The total votes was 36. 360 divided by what is 36? That would be 10. What I do to the denominator, I must do to the numerator. So I have 120 divided by 10, which is 12. So 12 students voted for the name Slinky. The last one is Finney. Finney's angle is 180 degrees. So now I need to do a part-whole ratio of 180 degrees over 360. And I need to do an equivalent ratio because 36 is how many students in the class voted. That's my whole amount. So 360 divided by 10 is 36. What I do to the denominator, I must do to the numerator. So 180 divided by 10 is 18. So Finney had 18 votes. So let's go back and read the problem, make sure we answered it. It just says, find the total number of votes for each name. So we did, so that's good. The last one you can do on your own. This is our lesson for module six, lesson one for grade six.